Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another GIMP tutorial on how to make basically your own planet using a, a landscape picture, for example, one that's got a lot of land and sky, one with lots of depth to it. And the cool thing is you basically stretch out the image and wrap it in a circle. You can adjust it in a couple ways and it looks like a planet. And it's pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to do that and it's actually pretty simple. So I'm going to go to open as layers and find the picture I want, which in this case is this one. Let's see what I mean? Lots of sky, clouds, and land. And you can see the depth the picture has to it. So I suggest you look up landscape pictures on the internet and find a good one. So in order to use this image, what I want you to do is first we're going to duplicate it, duplicate it, layer, duplicate layer. You got two and I'm just going to click on the little eye thing so that it's, you can't see it basically. This will use in case your image doesn't quite lock up, you can basically cut Cut this in half and paste another version of the same thing on the other side to make it look even. Even though in my case, I'm not going to use it, just in case you need to, or you have it there. Um, so yeah, the good thing about this picture is you can see that here there's a mountain, or like a ridge, or whatever. And on the other end there's one too. But if you had, let's say, a mountain and then this was still water, when you wrapped it in your circle, um, it would be uneven on the other side. You'll see what I mean once I wrap it around and I'll explain it further. So yeah, you've got your picture and now what you're going to do is, um, sorry, now what you're going to do is crop your image so that you have an even amount of sky and an even, even amount of land. Um, to do this, you use a crop, crop tool and you can find the crop tool here. You go to tools, transform tools and crop okay so basically select oh no first first uh yeah make sure this is on center lines yours is probably a no guide you change it to center lines it helps you kind of choose the areas you want from corner to corner and basically i think i'm going to cut off about this much of my land I like the idea of having some more sky, and so that shows you a little preview of what your picture will look like once you cut off that bottom part. To ultimately like cut it off, you just click again. Oops, sorry, I moved it. Just click again, and there it does. It cuts it for you. Okay. So then, once that part is done, uh, what you want to do is make your image a square because it'll make it easier for you to wrap obviously so to do that you're basically just going to change the polar um sorry to make it into square you're going to change the, the you're going to go to the image setting over here scale image and it's very very important that you first before you change the number you unlock it unlock this little chain and then you change the width of the picture to the original height so in this case I'll change this number to 1596 okay that part's done and now you can scale it boom if it's not working for you it probably means you didn't unchain it before you changed your number okay keep that in mind um, Okay, now once you've got that part, you want to, oh yeah, we're going to put it into our, our circle. So to put it into our circle, you're going to change the polar coordinates. To do that, you go to filters up here, and you go to distorts, and, and then you're going to go to polar coordinates. Click that. You want to make sure this is at 100%. This is at 180%, and then here, make sure this is unclicked, unclicked, and then this is checked to pull it, okay? Um, yeah, okay, so then click OK. Boom, it's in your circle. 
Now, as you can see, this is the line I was referring to at the beginning. Um, see, this line's pretty obvious, and we don't really want the, that in our final uh, product, right? So to fix it up, a pretty simple way, without using gradients, without using masks, uh, if this picture isn't, it's more like a farm project, um, then I want you to go to your dropper tool here, color picker. Um, for this portion here, I'm going to select some of this color. I'm going to use my airbrush, and I'm going to actually zoom in a bit because I don't want to be so far out. And, okay, now I'm going to use my airbrush. You don't want your opacity to be too high, so maybe around the 60s, 70s. Oh, but you don't want it to be too low either because it won't really show up. In terms of size, it really depends on what you're looking for. So I'm just going to slowly add some color to this. Try and kind of make it not so obvious that there's a huge line here, kind of slow, kind of blended in. You don't need to super cover it up, but you know, just enough to kind of improve it a little bit. You can add some over here too, so it's not so obvious. Okay, then what you're gonna do is, sorry, uh, use your dropper again. Um, let's see, I think I'll use some of this color again, and just kind of merge that in to and change back to another color, maybe that color there. Oops. So yeah, it turns out real nice like that, and now, um, to just kind of finish it off, well not to finish it off, just to touch it up a bit, I'm going to go to our smudge tool here, and this smudges are all these areas that I've, I've added a bit of transition color to, and it'll look pretty good, so I'm going to make that a little bigger, I'm also going to zoom in. So I don't take away from the quality of the picture. So something like that. Okay. So to smudge, you basically just grab that, and yeah. Make sure that when you're doing the smudging, you go in accordance to the pattern, to the like grain basically. So go in a circular motion. Again, no need to overdo it, but just enough so that it kind of just blends in, you know. Here with the clouds, you can really cover that one little ridge up so that it was kind of in the way. Make it look like a cloud. And so then you can see what those other transition colors were for earlier. Again, let's scroll down a bit. Oops. You might find that you need a little more color and you might need to airbrush again. For example, in this area, I might want to do that. But let me just see how it works first, how it turns out. 
because if you're making your planet like not very realistic you know you can afford to leave some of these smudge marks it really is up to you you can do whatever you want Just f for fun, I think I'm going to make this brush slightly bigger. So it doesn't look quite as choppy. Sometimes zooming out will help you get a better look at what it is you're actually doing. So yeah, you can see mine looks a little choppy right now because it's all like concentrated smudged, but you can still tell there was something there. So again, just grab some of the airbrushing tools. Oops, not quite that big. Maybe like that. Bring down the opacity. Um, oops. Use your eyedropper, grab a color, if you use a bigger one, you'll get like a more like a cloudy looking thing, it's good for skies, you can even make fog with the brush tool. Let's grab the smudge tool. Just kind of stretch it so it doesn't look like it had such a definite ending to it. Smudge the rest of the sky. Can make it look really nice doing that. I'm going to bring down the opacity of my smudging. Okay, so this is, like I said, pretty easy calm like not too difficult version of how to do this i've found lots of other ways to do it but i just thought like why would you go through the trouble to do it such a complicated way and i think it looks pretty darn good pretty cool it looks kind of like it got morphed i don't know uh there's so many other things you can do with it if you've got any questions just let me know i think this is a pretty fun project you can do use this for whatever and um yeah like you can try so many other things too like you can try using the blur tool like i said you can try using the gradient oh and the extra background here you can use for um uh you know how there we had the line here you could basically duplicate your picture before you twirl it um to make it even but i just like the smudging i think this make, gives it a pretty cool effect when you're working on it and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any suggestions for other videos. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.